Hello Aquarius, welcome to your Goddess Wisdom Spread for the month of December 2021. Okay, this is a reading for former witches out there. Okay, so this is a reading that is going to explain to you how to find the Goddess Wisdom or God, your God Wisdom inside you. So, so you can express your spirituality in a more broad way in a more satisfying way, okay? So, here, what the tarot is telling me is that the first question is how you can connect with your inner goddess, okay? And here we have the Ten of Swords. So, I think that you have some issues uh, regarding regarding some pain that you're suffering, that you're going through. And this pain may be uh, connected to your faith, may be connected to some uh, religious struggles that you are finding uh, hard to sort out in this very moment. So this is telling you to, you know, end the cycle of hurting, end the cycle of maybe betrayal, and, you know, sometimes we put a lot of uh, weight on what other people think. And, you know, faith and belief and uh, religion is something very, very personal and very, uh, and, and strictly connected to our our soul, our inner self. So maybe you need to stop, you know, to consider uh, other people's uh, burdens regarding to to your faith, and and you know just go for it. Just try to to understand more uh, of what you want to to go through here. So, if you want to be a, a more spiritual person, you don't need to say to anybody. You don't need to share that for this moment, uh, even if you're. <laughs> your bottom of the deck here is just telling you to do that. But I think that first, for you to connect with your spirituality, for you to connect with your w inner goddess, you have to go within and sort some of this pain by yourself. You know, heal yourself and then go for it. And why do I say that you have this, this, this burdens, you know, this, this pain? Because here... In the second position, which is telling me what are the messages uh, that the goddess wants you to receive, is the nine of wands. It is telling me that because of all this pain, you have built some walls around you. You're you're a little bit defensive, you know. So, as you can see in this card, which is a beautiful card from the witch's tarot, you know, uh, and the nine of wands. Uh, these ones, they are all full of flowers, and even if you are like ready to fight uh, for who's coming here to face you, you have behind you a beautiful sun, you know, and always the, the, the sky is open up to you. So, you know, it is only natural that after going through pain and to sorrow and, you know, some, some inner... Uh, challenges and, and doubts, you are uh, a little bit protective of yourself. But it's always it's also telling me that um, you need to, of course, protect your values, protect who you are, but not forgetting to, you know, smell the flowers over here and also understand that life is beautiful and if you're going through this uh, challenge right now, you're going to be all right. Especially because in the third position you have ten of pentacles, and and so uh, this is the this is the position that is asking us, or asking the goddess, how uh, you can best channel the energies of the goddess, and and this is the ten of pentacles. You know, you have a family, a dog, a little baby here, and pentacles are. Um, uh, earth uh, energy, right? So something tangible, something that is around you. You know, you have this beautiful house over here. But I some sometimes people um, make a little bit of confusion with pentacles, you know, because it's like money and stuff. But actually, it's I I like to 
to explain it or to um, connect with, as I told you before, tangible things, things that are around you, people that are around you, you are loved. And it is also telling me that here, to channel these energies, you have to feel all this love that is around you. And you also have to feel the love that you have inside. And do not be only protectiveness, you know. Give this love so you can receive this love. It's, it's something that goes and comes. Sometimes you give, sometimes you receive. As long as you maintain the balance, you are... Uh, you are channeling this this inner goddess, this this energies that you have inside for you, inside of you. Here in the fourth position, we have uh, we have the answer for in what way you can incorporate the goddess into your life. And this is a beautiful card, Major Arcana, the magician. So how can you can incorporate? Uh, the inner goddess into your life. You see, this is someone that is manifesting, that is uh, like dreaming, but not only dreaming, wishing, you know. Uh, it's working in this law of attraction. And here you have something very tangible and here you have something very intangible. So once again, it's the balance between what you already have what you can touch and what you don't have yet and what is you can manifest we can bring to life uh, with your dreams with the things that we, you wish for you and to the people that are around you you know you you actually you have a great power of manifestation over here um what work does the goddess want you to do and here you have the three of cups so you know after pain after you know uh, building all these walls up around you you know here you have celebration you have you know getting together with people that are alike so i see that you have some kind of mission here you know it's uh you know Going through difficult things, it only makes you learn and it only improves who you are in your soul, in your heart. You know, it makes you stronger. And I think this strength that you were building up inside you is, is not useful only for you when you can be useful for the people. Uh, I, I'm sorry, it's not uh, only useful for you, so you can be uh, a bigger and better person, but you are always also uh, bringing this to your community, okay? And how you can show your gratitude for her guidance here in the, in the sixth position, you have the five of swords, and as you can see, this five of of sorts here is it's like trying to to uh, you, uh first of all we have a lot of fairies around right right and you have this this moth over here so i really think that it's it's very important for you to understand uh how uh your imagination can change your reality and your your most inner desires can also solve conflict, you know, and this is very, very important. Maybe you were, you were going through a moment uh, when you will learn to help people and to be some kind of mediator in conflicts and, and, you know, and bringing people together, even if there are conflicts around. So as I, I mentioned before, in the bottom of the deck, you have the tree of pentacles. So, you know, working together with your community, working together with the people that you have around you and, and you know, making things better, making life better, not only for you, uh, but to your community. Okay, so this is what I have for you today, Aquarius. Uh, how to, you know, connect with your inner goddess and and bring uh, more of a spiritual touch in your life thank you very much for being here for sharing your time with me and till next time